In this video, you'll learn how to make an easy DIY wreath perfect for fall and Thanksgiving. Hi, my name is Anna. Thanks so much for joining me in this video. I had a really hard time deciding what order to do my colors in. I think I changed my mind four or five times. You don't see that all in the video, but I do change my mind multiple times. So just do whatever colors you use in whatever order you want. Don't stress about that. Also, there was a very annoying fly flying around the whole time I was recording one day. And there are some times when you actually see it in the screen. So if you see that fly, let me know. But also one more thing is that at one point I start putting things on what is supposed to be the back side of the turkey. Pay attention to how I put things together, but be smarter than me and put them on the front of your turkey. Yes, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> anyway, let's get the show on the road. You'll need the following supplies. Head on over to funsockcity.com for all your sock needs, including the ones you'll need for this project. Start out with your sock and turn it wrong side out. Then lay it flat. This is where it's going to be where the turkey sits, right there on the heel. So keep that in mind as you're marking your sock. Actually, I'm going to flip it so that the heel is facing up. Then taking a fabric marker, create a symmetrical head shape on each side. And we want it to gradually come in to create a slender neck and then come back out and then right here below the heel just do a little curve and right here I'm going to stop my sewing and that is where I'm going to use it to turn it all right side out. So first you're going to sew on your markings. I like to make sure I backstitch on places where I'm beginning or ending a seam. So here you'll backstitch and also up here where you start these seams, you will backstitch as well. You can use the sewing machine or you can also sew by hand. Once sewn, go ahead and cut around your sewing lines, making sure not to cross any of your seams. And then actually also cut off this top part as well, leaving about a quarter inch below it. Well, maybe like a half an inch, I don't know, about that much. Dang it, I should have left more. Leave more if you haven't cut it yet. This stuff you can throw away, but hold on to this. Now we're going to turn the body right side out and stuff it. Now this is recycled stuffing from some old pillows. So mine's kind of clumpy, which is why I'm kind of pulling it apart. Whatever you use, you just want to make sure it's not lumpy inside your turkey. And I stuff that head nice and full. And then make sure you stuff this abdomen area nice and full. Try to keep things symmetrical. Right now, it kind of looks like a little bowling pin. <laughs> then take some thread, and we're just gonna close this opening. And I'll do that by starting out on the inside and locking my thread into place. And you do that by pushing the needle in and out right next to where you went in. You're gonna push your needle right back out. And then put the needle between the trailing threads and then pull that tight. And that will just keep it from pulling out between the sock fibers. And I like to just go back and forth, nice and close stitches to keep that white stuffing from showing. When you get to the end, go ahead and knot it off, but then push your needle in right by that knot and out again somewhere else. Pull that tight and cut off the thread and the thread just sucks right back in there and then that knot is hidden. So like I said earlier, it really does look like a bowling pin, but it'll look more like a turkey in just a little bit. So for fun, we're gonna take that green. Before you cut it off, hopefully you heard me say, oh no, cut it off longer. If you did what I did and cut it off too short, just take your thread and we're just gonna tack this raw edge down and it does not need to be pretty. No one's gonna see this. And make sure you don't pull that thread too tight. And then just knot that off and cut off the excess. Then we're gonna slide that down around the turkey's neck, just like that. Now we're just gonna make the wings of the turkey and I'll provide the template in the pattern that's linked below. 
Make sure your sock is wrong side out and start on one of these raw edges, preferably the side that's straight where you cut off the collar. And you'll just come in about three fourths of an inch and then get a little bit wider towards the center and then come back this way and you'll use this as the other side. And then you'll do the same thing on this side. And then now you're gonna just sew on this line and then we'll flip it right side out. Then cut it out around that seam being careful not to cut through your sewing seams. Then turn those right side out, and we're gonna stuff those. Not overly full, just enough to hold the shape. I don't know if you can hear the kids outside playing, but they are having so much fun. I'm gonna wait to decide where I want to put the arms until after I've put on the face and the hat. Make sure you plug your hot glue gun in before you start cutting things out. Now your glue gun should be ready. Then the only thing you need to do is decide which eyes you want to use. I don't know if I want to use extra big eyes and make it look more cartoony or it's kind of more normal size. I think I'm gonna go with the extra big eyes because this is just playful fun. Okay, so first off I'm gonna put those eyes on. Then be really careful on this because you don't want to burn yourself. I made it extra long so that you could actually give yourself some room to not burn yourself. So you're just going to run a strip of glue along the very edge of that. And then bring this other side around. Ooh, hot, 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 ouch. I can't work with hot glue and not burn myself. It's just against the rules. Pull off any glue you might have smeared around. And then on this tip, you're just going to cut just past that, kind of still creating a point on that top part. I didn't cut it straight off, I angled it from that glue to the front to create a pointy look. Then put that right centered between the eyes and let that cool. While that's cooling, we're gonna actually put the legs on because we want that to be cooled completely before we put this part on which is called, I learned, the snood, and only male turkeys have it, and it's mostly used to, to attract a mate. Oh no! Oh my gosh, I'm doing this backwards. Um, I hope you're smarter than me. It's okay that I did it on the back, because no one's gonna see this part, but I did want this to be kind of the bottom, and this is bulged out more like a turkey belly, so I really hope you didn't start gluing. Um, make sure this is at the front. I am so silly. Okay, so redo all that stuff we just did. Now let that cool completely. When you put this snoot on, you don't wanna put it equally draped on both sides. You wanna kind of make one side lower than the other. So we're gonna hang it on there kind of like that. That's how I'm gonna do mine. And just a little bit of hot glue is all you need. There, he is looking cuter and cuter by the minute. Now your legs. And all you're gonna do is put a little bit dab of glue on this top part and put it right on the underneath side like that. Let that cool completely and we'll work on the hat while that's cooling. Okay, figure out about how wide you need this top circle to be. The template provides enough space for you to do about half an inch overlap. I'm doing just a really thin coat of hot glue and then bringing it over and overlapping onto it. Now I'm gonna do a very, very thin coat of hot glue around the top of this hat. And then I'm gonna place it right onto that top circle. Then take your contrasting felt that you're gonna belt around your hat and glue one end into place on the back side. And I'm doing it just like a quarter inch above the bottom. And mine's not quite long enough, but that's gonna be on the back, so. That's okay. No one is gonna see the back of this turkey. Now, I don't know if I want this buckle directly on the front. I think we're gonna kind of put it on this side a little bit. So what all I'm gonna do is put a teeny tiny strip of glue and then just put it right onto that. Now, the base that I cut out or that I have in the template didn't quite match what I wrapped the hat to. So depending on how tightly you wrap your hat, you may have to adjust different things. So what I'm doing 
is I'm just going to, again, put a strip of glue on this all around, just like we did on the top. If it goes down inside the hat, that's okay. You just don't want it to go on the outside. And then I'm gonna put it right in the center of this black piece of felt. And then I'm actually just gonna cut the rim that I want around it. And then I'm gonna just cut out the center piece because I want this to rest on the turkey's head. Be careful not to cut the actual hat. That can just sit on my turkey's head just like that. And I just am loving this. I'll be honest, I was a little worried about how it would turn out. I never quite know. So then, glue it into place. All right, now we can better tell where we want to have the collar and the arms. And I think I do like it just about right there. So I'm gonna lift that collar a tad on this side, and I'm just gonna sew this arm into place. And it doesn't have to be beautiful, but you do need to lock your thread into place like we did when we were sewing the bottom shut. Okay, and once you have that sewn on, take the collar and you're gonna tack it into place on each side of the turkey arm. And this is just to help hold that collar into place. And once you have it tacked into place, go ahead and knot it off. So then repeat that same process on the other side. Now that the turkey's done, you're ready to start assembling your wreath. I have this wreath and it is about 12 inches from outside to outside edge. I've got four colors of tulle. You could use wired ribbon if you want that as well. And I'm going to do them in this order. Orange. I'm gonna do orange, yellow, green, gold. And then it'll be back again to that as many times as we can do it with the tool that we cut. And I will be making mine about 10 inches long. And to do that, I just have this composition notebook and I'm just going to wrap it around like this. And that is going to be one length when I go around and back down. That is one length. But I'm gonna do seven of each color. So I'm gonna go around this seven times. Then you can just cut that off right at the base and then I'm going to cut across the whole bottom and that's going to create my seven pieces and you'll want seven of each color so go ahead and do all your colors all right with your tool lay your turkey here and decide where you want the feathers to start I think I want them to start about right there even with where the arms are so we'll start here and end here so you're gonna start with your beginning tool color, which for me, that is orange. Also, I'm doing a double set of each one. So I'm taking two at one time. And you wanna pull this as tight as you can if you're using one of these twig wreaths because it is not easy to tighten things once it's on here. And just pull that tight. So I'm taking two at one time just to make that color a little stronger. Just grab it right in the middle, and I'm bringing that hook over the top toward the back, and then bringing the tool, wrapping it around underneath, and pulling that up in the opening. Once you have your tool or your ribbon done as far as you'd like it, grab the turkey and you're gonna, again, check his positioning. And then with hot glue, put a bunch right where he's gonna meet the wreath. And you'll wanna let that cool. And then you're also going to put just a little dab right here on the back of the hat where it meets at the top. And let that cool completely. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a great fall. See you next time. Goodbye.